a lot of people when they retire, they get depressed, they feel miserable. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a very difficult and tragic thing actually mm-hmm. uh, for a lot of people. Like you run into this wall and you realize that work gives you meaning it gives you social connection all sorts of stuff yeah um have you ever seen the uh jiro dreams of sushi on Netflix? yes okay yes that's like I my favorite love documentary. that show it's <laughs> same here same we're the same <laughs> person man this is so strange <laughs> uh i love i was talking to somebody about that recently i love everything about it i love the craftsmanship i i'm kind of a fan of japan i haven't been there before um, but it's probably the top place I want to go to. Um, I just love like, you know, the whole thing, the whole thing. Yeah. Like, it, it goes with the Ikigai where there's a whole book on Ikigai. I think it's called Awakening that you're a key, a uh, key guy, a key, a key guy. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's Juro like is the, a cul- is the culmination of a key guy. It's what's what exactly they mean. And that's like a very common word, apparently in Japanese, they use mm-hmm. it every day. And mm-hmm. it's, um, he kind of, everything he does, or even his age, right? He, he's doing it. He has no plans to retire ever. And he's just doing it because he sees that as his life's work. Right. And I, yeah, I believe, and, and Japanese, uh, the Japanese culture actually has, the longest lifespans out of the entire world. I right. believe in Okinawa, uh, where right one of the blue zones. Yeah, there are 100 and cent- uh, centenarians. There, there's more centenarians there than anywhere else in the world. It's funny, right. and I think they right. they believe it's the a guy that makes the them. Um, it makes everyone think they have purpose, right? And no one really retires there. Right. Uh, it's very interesting. 